Want to see what it's like whenever your injectors go bad and it goes into limp mode? <laughs> I'm sure that's not good. But anyhow, I'll show you how to replace these in this 1990 Acura Integra uh, as soon as I get back home. Um, so we'll see you there. What's up guys, me I'm not here, uh, I'm going to bring you another video, this is uh, my 1990 Acura Integra, I'm going to be showing you how to replace the fuel injectors because mine have went bad apparently, uh, so we'll get right into it. Get those loose. somewhere where you won't lose them and then back here you're going to want to unplug I'll show you uh, my stuff's kind of a mess here because I don't drive this car every day I just fool around with it uh, so what you're going to do is there's going to be two plugs here a square one and a round one you're going to want to disconnect both of these we got little clips under here and then just pull out and uh, that'll disconnect your uh, fuel injector rail not the rail the uh, what do you call it <laughs> I can't talk today that's okay but anyway so after you've done that Come back over here, and uh, you're gonna take. Try to zoom in here. You're gonna want to take these little clips off right here. What you're gonna do is take one side, peel it over so it looks like that, and then when you get the other side, pull back on it, and pull at the same time come up sometimes As you see. see make sure you clip this back on because if you lose that sometimes it's hard to find when it goes back down in here right, so I'll show you the other one this one over here peel back on that one so it hangs off to the side and then you peel back on this one sorry if the camera's shaky I've got a fan on me because it's like really hot living down here in the middle of Alabama Birmingham it gets kind of hot here during the summer so let's see that's the wrong one let's get to the last one here I don't know if you can see that peel back on one inside oh, come on now sometimes that can be a pain there he goes. You just peel back on the other one and pull up. There you go. Then you're going to want to 
do is take the rest of the harness fuel injectors and move it. Oh, I got one thing. You gotta unplug the temperature sensor back here into the and this car is obity one by the way. You have not done the obity. I mean this car's obity O, oh, excuse me. I haven't done the obity one conversion yet. Just move it out of the way. And uh, I need to move this out of the way somehow. Just like that. Alright, so now what you're gonna do next, there is a 10 mil fastener here, 10 mil fastener here, 10 mil here. Now, in earlier years I have broke these off. Um, except for one, which I know that's bad. You're all probably screaming, hey, what stupid. Um, no. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to show you how to replace these and then later on I'll show you how to replace the studs because you can replace the studs. Um, it's just a little harder sometimes. Uh, but So yeah, so we're going to take this bolt off back here. I'll show you. It is right there. And you do not have to disconnect the fuel rail from the feed line, which is right there, to the filter. All you have to do is disconnect it down there. I don't know if you can see that. Where the return is. So, we're going to do that now. If it'll come off this time. Last time it wouldn't come off. I had to cut it off. Alright, so I'll be right back. Okay guys, sorry about that. I'm back. Uh, what I ended up doing was I ended up disconnecting it from here instead of down there. And be careful, there is gas. Uh, will leak, so you'll have to have something to catch that gas. Um, but just be very careful and please disconnect the positive side of the battery before you do any kind of repairs. And then after that, what you're going to do is you're going to rock this while you're pulling. And sometimes it will come up. Just like that. I don't want it to come up that vigorously, but drop something down there. But I'll get it later. Okay, so what you're going to do, just connect that. Just pull this and make sure you put these back in. These go back in these little holes down here. I'll show you in just a second. These little O rings. Right. These little O rings down here. here pull one out see just make sure you put those back in back out all right I'm sorry for the video the way I'm doing this video this is the only way I can do it right now and then after that what you're gonna do is you're gonna whoop I almost knocked the camera over uh, is you're going to pull these out just rock them and pull and they will eventually roll themselves out of there now there's gasoline here something just bit me I got stung by a bee <laughs> got stung by a bee. All right. Anyhow, so what you're going to do is this little o-ring here. If you don't have any of these, uh, I recommend uh, getting more uh, new ones. Uh, you can get them at uh, any auto parts store. I'm not going to mention any because I'm not sponsored by any. Um, but uh, yeah, so you'll, you'll have to get these little o-rings and these here. I'm not really sure what 
these right here are called but uh, but I will see you can just peel those little o-rings back off I'm gonna save that one that one looks a little torn but you have to peel that off to be able to get this other one here off like that and uh, yeah so there's one here, these are used injectors, but I know they work. Uh, so, these already have these on there. So, I don't have to change but one, I think. So, what you'll do is you'll put the little O ring on there like that and shove that little guy back in this little hole in his home. And then, there you go. I'm going to do that with the rest of these just to show you. Oh, that one is stuck come out come out and wear eye protection as well because gasoline can come back and uh, splash in your face I'm going to put a new o-ring on that one because it tore that one it looks like You don't want that getting into your injector because it'll uh, it'll screw things up. Right, so that one already had an O-ring on it, so we're gonna shove that one back in there. And come over here to the other two. Wow, these things are hard to get out. Inside the fuel rail there. That one tore that O-ring too. Let's see. Yeah. And I also recommend wearing gloves too as well. Oh, and I forgot to mention there's little filters that go inside of here too. On these so do not forget to put those back in I would love to show you but this is just a demonstration I don't have any and I do not recommend running the car without them at all Missing something. Take that one back out, put this one back in. A little pressure to it. Do you see that? Oh. So yeah, guys, be very careful when you do this with any vehicle. the last one in. I don't want to go in, but it went in. Alright, what you're going to do is you're going to put them back down into the hole. 
holes down here, as you can see. Make sure you line the bolt holes up in the back. Put the camera back down. I'm going to try something. I will be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, had to go put some gloves on. I know it's a little late for that. But um, what I'm going to end up doing it before I put everything back together, I am going to show you how to replace the studs because I have one that was broke off here and one that was broke off here. And if you can't get the studs, I've already loosened this one, but if you can't, get those studs there you can use these uh, M6-1.0 by 20 millimeter and that's these bolts here and there's the top of it if you can read that I don't know if it'll focus or not sorry my phone went off uh, and that's what uh, that's what the package is right there so yeah so that's what I'm gonna be putting in its place here but uh, the way you got to get these studs out is you have to use some vice grips because um, they're a little hard but once you get them loose I'll zoom in here once you get these loose with the vice grips they'll start turning out easy and then you can just take some regular pliers like these here and just keep working them out until they come completely out like that see that one's already been broke off but uh, I recommend replacing those if they are broke off which uh, I'm gonna put everything back together now and uh, Oh yeah, and do not forget to put these back on. They're like little plastic washers that go in between the intake and the uh, fuel rail. Don't forget to put those on. Alright, so what you're going to do, you take your fuel rail, put it right back, put, them, put the injectors back in their little homes. so what you're gonna do with at least one side is you're gonna fit this washer right here back in between these two at the same time let me give you a better angle here you're gonna put this in between the fuel rail and the intake and at the same time you're gonna put your your bolt through and once you've done that it's good to go you can just thread it a little bit with your fingers and then you can tighten it up the rest of the way later zoom back out go to this other one here I'm going to do the same thing to the center put your spacer in between and just tighten it up with your fingers and then do the same to this side the spacer in between put your bolt through fastener whatever you want to call it just thread it with your fingers and then I don't recommend tightening this back up with any kind of uh, impact drill like I'm using um, only if you've had a lot of experience but if you don't I recommend using just a regular ratchet and socket um, or wrench open and box in wrench uh, they are 10 millimeter fasteners um, but uh, we're gonna tighten these down you're gonna make sure it's good and tight can't go nowhere 
you know, make sure these are facing upwards, like so. That one's a little loose, but it's okay. It's just because of that uh, uh, that rubber washer down in there. I've got to replace those. I but anyway, you're going to hook your vacuum to your uh, fuel pressure regulator back and put your fuel return line back. I stuck a bolt in here to keep it from leaking. So, see if I can get that bolt back out. gonna hook your return line back on make sure you put a hose clamp on that and down here too as well and you're gonna take your harness put it back underneath here make sure it's out of the way of the throttle as well you're gonna plug your temperature your air intake temperature sensor back up you can put these back on here and put your two 10 mil fasteners back on like that don't tighten these down very much because all it's doing is holding this wire harness that's it And then what you're going to do is you see on this side it's got a round side and this side is square. What you're going to do is the round side goes toward the back of the injector. And you just snap it back in. Make sure that the clip is clipped in on both sides. And you're just going to snap it back in. Snap it back in. Make sure it's nice and snug. Snap it back in. Make sure everything's tight, and then you're going to take your uh, your resistor box and your plug, and uh, really the resistor box is supposed to be up in this corner, but I've got it attached to this for now. So you're going to want to take your stuff here, you know, like mine in this case goes underneath my intake here. I'm going to plug it back up. Just match the uh, clips up. Plug them in. And all my stuff goes down in here and gets uh, fastened up underneath the uh, intake manifold. And that is it guys, I hope this video helps and uh, I hope that uh, it helps someone. Um, yeah, so uh, if you like this video, I will make some more and uh, I do appreciate you guys very much for watching my videos if you do and uh, please do not forget to subscribe and like below. Um, in the future, I'm going to make a Facebook and be posting stuff on Facebook as well. I'll leave you a link to that in the future. And there will be more videos. If you guys want to see more, please let me know. And I am not afraid of comments. If I'm doing something wrong, please let me know. Because I want to know. I want to get better at this. And it, it's just, I love it. I love doing it. So thank you guys for watching. Got my hand all in my face here. Have a good day.